Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Uh, today I'm gonna basically break down the SVG file for this template and how to use this time um, mechanism. So if you haven't purchased the file, hopefully at the end of this you're gonna want to because this is what you can make with it. So this one is the Peter Pan one. And before we get started, while I'm putting the battery in to show you why you wanna do this fun cake topper is um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. Um, all right, so you see we put the battery in and all of a sudden you have a moving cake topper. Now you can also add the lights, which I have right here. And you can see Tinkerbell lights up. The characters are flying through the night. And that's what I want to show you that you can do. There's so many things that you can do with this cake topper. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm still getting over my cough. Um, so let's break it down. So I already did the design space tutorial on how to purchase the file, download the file, unzip it, and then um, upload it into design space. Today's tutorial is to show you how to piece it together once you've cut it. So um, I wanted to keep this fairly simple. I did do a little bit of a theme just to kind of give you an idea um, because the time piece itself is super, super easy. All you do is you put in a battery, which you saw me do. Um, let me put it in. And then you put in the hand. Once you put in the hand, you'll see that it, uh, it's kind of hard to see there but you see it's moving, that's it. This is the mechanism, and so it's super, super simple. You take out the hand, so the hand is moving, you put whatever sticker piece on top of it, and now this will rotate because it's sticking to this. That's all that it is. What you'll find though is where the difficulty comes in is when you're designing your theme. So I wanna show you how to build it. The theme stuff, we're gonna be doing a ton of it, and it's gonna make more sense. And I'm gonna to try to talk you through it because it seems simple enough, right? Things, things rotating, like we love it, but it needs to make sense. This one was difficult because it made sense for the characters to fly through the night, right? I thought this was the perfect theme for this. And then I realized like as they start to make this turn into the clouds, they will start to be upside down, <laughs> which made it look very, very odd. So what did I do? I hit it with clouds, with the water behind there, with the pirate ship. So um, certain things, there's only a specific window where it makes sense for them to rotate. Because like I said, once he hits this cloud, this baby's gonna start to go upside down. Um, so I wanted to show you other things that can rotate continuously without it being so weird um and one example that i have is from josie from sophie's corners craft she did one where it was a farm theme and in the middle what was rotating was the actual windmill and so it was just the rotating piece here it was a small piece of her overall cake uh, topper and all the details were on the outside so when you make something the focal point then you know like this i feel like the characters um are very much front and center and not a side piece like the windmill moving um you're gonna have to think about your theme so anyway i know i i keep i keep going back to that point because it took me so long to finish that cake topper because of how it was designed and it didn't occur to me so much that most of the cake topper in, in that area would need to be covered it it makes sense yet it didn't make sense <laughs> so okay let's build our cake topper first thing you want to do and what I love about this cake topper is it's gonna seem weird we have a ton of pieces here but it's really just to kind of like build and hide like all of our crafting mistakes if we have any and um, so yeah um, give me just one second you're gonna need to do it by yourself Okay, all right, so what you wanna do is it all centers on a six inch uh, main piece. The overall piece is going to be eight inches and it's gonna sit on top like this. So the design from the SVG file is just this. It's never the theme, it's always 
the foundational piece to build all your other pieces like um like the pringles can if you bought the pringles svg it's to cover up the pringles can but the theme itself is going to be up to you i am going to show you step by step though how to design this and also how to build this so that is coming and you're going to be able to find most of these pieces within design space um but i want to be clear that if you haven't purchased it already that you know that my files are um, their foundational pieces. Okay, so let's get started. What you wanna do is you're gonna notice that we have tabs. These tabs are to build like a height so that you can hide your, your time piece um, and make it a shaker and have a moving part so that there's room. So that's what we're building right here is this space, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quickly though uh, how this works. So here is our time piece, right? You're going to take this piece and in the file, and we'll talk about it again, there are multiple pieces there in case you want to use it. There's two of these. You might not need to, but what you want to do is basically this sits down like this. You're going to put this on top and these pieces will go around here and then we're just gonna build on top of it. If you end up putting like a shaker piece inside, we're gonna wanna, you know, um, close it off and all of that. So, all right, let's get started. I just wanted to show you this so that it makes sense <laughs> so that you get a piece, but it's easier to build it without having the time piece in, okay? So let's fold our tabs, um, basically all the cut lines you're gonna just wanna fold it right now just to get it ready. I do like using at least 80 pound cardstock paper. And um, I could even use 100 pound cardstock paper. I do like, the whole thing ends up being very stable because of how the SVG is designed. Um, and using two straws, I mean, you can see this thing is not it's not flimsy at all, so it can hold its um, the weight of everything. Okay, so we've got our first tab down. Our second tab, um, if you notice, this one has a hole here. It fits perfectly for the light to go in. So if you know that your design is not gonna use a light, I would just contour it out in design space. If um, you should you should get to know how to use contour. So I will talk about it when we're using when we're doing um, Peter Pan. But uh, you can always leave it here and have it underneath, and no one would see it if you didn't want to contour it out. But like I said, contour is a super cool tool, and we all should we all should know how to use it. And it's a simple step. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna expect you to contour it out. <laughs> okay. So the tabs. Um, we want to glue the two tabs together so i am using my hot glue gun i'm just going to put it on the tab right here pull this tab over and it's going to be very obvious where it goes it lines up you want to just hold it so that it um it dries in place but it's really easy okay and today's cake topper, yes, it's a happy birthday theme. I did just enough of the design so that you can, um, you know, finish the concept and, and and understand where I was going with it. Um, okay, so that's done. We're gonna close out the other side as well. Um, I find that it's easier to do it this way. You don't have to. It's measured perfectly to go around like this. Um, but I think it's easier to close it and then glue down the paws. You can cut that. Can you also open up the dryer from the, the washing machine? Open both doors for me. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. I know, excuse the interruption, but it's mommy life, sorry. <laughs> all right, let's close out this little guy right here. And I'm just gonna hold it while it's drying. And I mean, th there's quite a few things that I like about this design. One is that we will eventually hide, be able to hide any of our mistakes. So if it gets messy, like glue or whatever it is, don't worry about it. Um, 
And then the other thing is within design space, you can make, you can easily make things thicker. Um, I made everything on the thin side, but you can easily just offset to make things bigger to, you know, to work, to work whatever design that you want to do. Um, so we've, we've got lots of different sizes of the circles for you. <coughs> so, excuse me, sorry. Okay. Now that we have this piece down, the next thing that I want you to do is these tabs on the inside, I want to put down some glue and make it flushed with our, with our wheel. I don't know what else to call it. I'm going to call it a, a, a wheel. <laughs> um, so let's put down glue on this side and then I'm just going to hold it down so that it's, um, I mean, it's not going to be flushed per se, but as close to the edge as possible, just so that it's not sticking out like this. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing on this side. I put a little bit of glue down. And then just hold it down while it's drying, while it's setting. Okay, so you see where this hole is that's where the light's gonna go so my recommendation is to start where that hole is and put it down and start with that because we're not necessarily putting this down yet it, it really doesn't matter but if you did have this in okay let's say you have it in and you were starting to put it here if this is glued to this piece then you need to know where you're going to put this hole right now because it's not glued in yet we can just rotate it so don't, but I want it to be just a process step that you're used to, like always just know where that hole is. So I always, you know, let's just start and put it up here. So let's put down a little bit of our hot glue gun, just a little bit, okay, so that we can glue down the, um, the pieces right here. So we're doing just a little bit at a time. We're gonna hold it while it dries and you're just gonna go along the edge. We're gluing down basically all the teeth on the inside. So see, like that was pretty quick, right? Like that's still a little bit, I could pull up a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna line this up, the next few pieces, and I'm gonna hold it down and then stick glue in. Now I'm not too worried about this layer of glue and the messiness because I'm gonna have this sticker come down and hide most of it, you're not gonna be able to see it. Plus, all the layers on top of it, we're not really gonna see the glue on the inside. So right now, I really just want to glue down all the way to the edges as close as I can. And I'm gonna just keep going around. And you're gonna to wanna to just hold it down for a couple seconds while it's drying. And you're gonna see in a second, like even though it's not perfect, it's gonna look very, very round. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I did notice, you know, Sophie is so generous. Um, she did send me how she does hers. And I wanna say she uses uh, beacon glue for this process instead of the hot glue gun. So she's using the three in one. Um, so I will try that next time just to let you know what I think of it. But right now I like my hot glue gun. All right, so I'm just going to go keep going around and glue some more. So while we're gluing, I do want to talk a little bit about like certain ideas that would make sense for things to go around. Um, what would be easy and similar to the whole windmill concept is like if you had a center flower, like a sun, I, and I, uh, oh, I didn't print it out yet. Um, like a sunflower, for instance, then it doesn't matter. <sighs> Sorry, I have the, the glue gun. Um, if you had the sunflower as it rotates, there is no, <laughs> there's so much glue going on right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, 
there there's no up or down or upside down of the sunflower it can just rotate so um or like the windmill where it just it's a rotating piece it makes sense for it to rotate um unlike the characters of peter pan flying through the sky um and when i went live the other night um Shawnette, she uh, she came up with the idea of like a Christmas theme with Santa and his reindeers flying through the night. And that is a great one. But something to consider when you're doing that is that at some point your sled, Santa and the reindeers are going to start to go under and they're going to be upside down with their legs in the air. <laughs> so that's not going to make sense. And it's going to be similar to Peter Pan in the sense that we're going to need to cover up that portion of the cake topper with our theme that makes sense right and we were talking about maybe we would have a sitting on top similar to the pirate ship kind of sitting above like this we could have like a scene of roof to rooftops <laughs> i don't know why i cannot say that word um so then it would cover up the bottom as the reindeer starts to flip over and the sled and all the the sleigh oh my gosh my my english is getting so bad um, but you kind of get the idea whatever you know that we need to hide when the, when the as it starts to turn we need to start thinking about that so always with this turning mechanism you need to decide is um you know one does it make sense so that the whole thing can be shown or does some of the cake topper need to be hidden to show um to cover when things go upside down and you don't want it to go upside down okay i have some ideas of future cake toppers that i want to do so i don't want to necessarily talk about it so much um but i have some ideas so i will help you through this <laughs> once i figure it out myself so let's glue this down it's still going But I will say, I mean, this was, it was really, really challenging to be able to hide um, the characters as they flew through the night for Peter Pan. I mean, that thing had me up really late, <laughs> which is probably why I can't get rid of this cough. Um, it was just, you know, trying to make it very intentional and for it to make sense even though we're talking about a peter pan cake topper <laughs> um you know and i wanted like a a night theme so even the water is like on the darker side um the clouds are dark so that tinkerbell kind of shines through i don't know there a lot of thought went into that and i hope you guys can tell all right i am making my way through this through this round oh and it's so hot And we're like 75% done on this. So I'm gonna show you in a second. I mean, you can see here, it looks pretty round, right? Um, and obviously this part's not in yet, but. But I've done a few, I've, I've made, I've made quite a few. I've only finished this one because there were a lot of trial ones. <laughs> that didn't quite work out that kept you know kept going back to the drawing board but i do like this svg file um and i just want to be clear because sometimes like we write it and people think that they are reading what we're trying to say um it does not come with the peter pan theme it does not come with any themed items it is just the foundational piece to fit in the time mechanism the moving clock mechanism. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to show you how to build it, make it stable, and for you to be able to change it to any theme that you want and to add the items that you want on there. All right, we are on the last 
few pieces. I'm gonna hold it here. Okay, that should seal it up. And I'm just gonna hold it down. And because of the way, sorry, that was like I'm a little bit too close to myself. Um, the way, you know, using the teeth like this, um, I want to show you there's like, I think you can see it right here. There's like a little hole. There's a gap right here. You, you can push it down a little bit, but it's okay. There's, there's going to be another back piece that you can put on here, like here to kind of hide all our imperfections. So yes, you can see it if you really look, but um, you're gonna be distracted by the beautiful cake topper instead. <laughs> okay, so that's done. So now what you wanna do is, let's put down our pieces. So we've got the, the battery already in there. So this piece is actually moving without us seeing it right now. I'm gonna put this down. It's gonna feel tight at first, but it goes all the way down to the end. So what you wanna do is you wanna add glue here to make sure that it's very stable. Um, let me lift this up again. I wanna show you where to put the glue. Um, I would put the glue, there's just a couple holes that you can kinda of see. Put glue where it's solid, put it down like this, put it on like this. When you glue that though, you need to make sure that you know where your um, where your time, where your, um, sorry, your light's going to be. Okay. So let's say we want it at 11 o'clock. You want to make sure that you know where 11 o'clock is, you know where that hole is, put the glue down and put it here because now it's glued down. You're kind of set with where this light's going to be. So I'm going to show you how to put in that light. The light is super easy. I love using these from Amazon. It's in the description because when you pull it out, what? Well, good thing we, oh, there it is. This one looks like it's dying. <laughs> oh, there. Um, the light is on. We put the tab back in. The light is off. So that tab is going to be sticking up right here. We're going to glue this down. So when you put it in, it's going to fit really well. And you're just going to glue it from the inside. And you want to glue it all the way around so that it feels stuck in there. And it's gonna be sturdy enough for you to constantly take out the tab, put the tab back in, okay? All right, so that's down. The piece that we're putting on, so it comes with a couple different hands. I'm gonna put this down. And so against this white piece, you can see that it's moving, right? So I, what I would do, and I, um, oh, here, perfect. I have an acetate layer. You could do acetate, you could do whatever. It depends on if this is colored. But I would, because this is print then cut, I would peel this off, stick it to here, and and then glue uh, glue this, put hot glue gun on the, on the time piece and glue it down. Because this is, I'm just showing you, and I wanna also use this again, I'm actually just gonna use a foam a foam piece okay to kind of stick it in place so that you can see and so you can see it's rotating and it's saying happy birthday and there's cut oh this light is bad oh there we go okay so what you want to do is at this point you would glue put glue right here and I would put hot glue gun I would put my acetate layer on top. I actually don't have a full acetate layer on top, so I apologize for that. But it would cover it in if you wanted to add in, um, you know, any embellishments, like shaker style, because this thing can hold those pieces, okay? Once you're done with that, what you wanna do is you wanna grab um, this piece right here and it's gonna go down and it's gonna hide your teeth. So this will be glued down to your acetate layer 
we're gonna glue this down and you can kind of see like we're just layering on top to kind of close out this piece this can be any color and this is just your you know like your base okay then what you put on top because if we don't like the words happy birthday going down you can kind of see like how we can add pieces to start to cover up that that half the half of the cake topper we can even do something like this then we can start adding balloons to it or whatever theme that you end up doing and so you can see it starts to feel like a cake topper when you add the age up here and now you have this moving element you have the lights you have a shaker piece um, and you can start adding uh, I don't know what else ice cream um, candy you know whatever that theme is or in this case Peter Pan you can see now how that works right um, so this is moving so it's just fun to have moving pieces it depends on on this one it's just clear acrylic because I had the background um, the night background pushed down all the way in so let me break that apart so that you can kind of see so in this case I had the sticker layer on top but I could have this printed out twice and the reason why you would do that is if you print it out twice the one bottom layer would go all the way to the bottom because this piece is sticking up this way let me pull this apart so you can see you have some height right here between this acrylic sign and the actual bottom. So if you wanted to, you could cut one that's bigger than this, put it straight all the way down like I did with the night sky so that it would be one of these layers basically, like flushed in there. Now, okay, so all this is on, right? Let's say we've built our cake topper What goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. What goes in between here is the, your timepiece, and also it's gonna be this. You're gonna glue down your straw, your acrylic, your wooden dowels, whatever it is. You're gonna put glue down on the sides. It's gonna go against these two pieces. Uh, the two pieces are gonna go against the battery, and then you have this to cover it up. Now this little cutout right here, you can use that little square and you can just glue a piece down right across here and cover that up, which is what I did with this one. And I just folded it so that it's easy to bend up and take the battery in and out. Um, but you know, it's nice to have the thicker paper. So this is probably a, a almost a hundred pound cardstock. Okay. So to make that crease, you just take a ruler. I swear I have a ruler here. Okay. <laughs> and you know, just line it up and fold it and then glue it down. I would fold this both ways just so that there's a crease there but that it lays pretty flat but as soon as I want to I can just lift, lift it up. Okay so it's super simple right? This whole thing will be covered up and then you can start designing your piece. So um, let me put this back on just so you can kind of see it again so it gives you some ideas. I do have some stickers printed out to show you to give you a better understanding of why this can be difficult. So I have a Peter Pan character. And so I'm gonna pull it off of this. I'm gonna put this down on just an acrylic sheet. Okay. So I'm going to put this little guy on so that you can see what he looks like as he's flying through the night. Looks all good up here, right? But once he flips down, I have another sticker to show you too. Okay. 
and I'll just put this down so you can kind of see. This one is forward facing, um, but he also will start to go upside down. So you can kind of see when you're using characters like this, um, you're gonna be have you're gonna have to be really intentional um, in in your design so that it's not weird when. Pikachu all of a sudden is upside down on your cake topper. <laughs> um, but all right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be doing this um, quite a few examples. I will be doing the design space tutorial for Peter Pan and an assembly of this exact one that will drop next week. So it's all coming if you wanna just purchase the file. I appreciate all the support. Um, but I do think that this is, I mean, it's just such a fun, fun, fun project. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye.